Hello everyone, it's Jennifer. One of the questions I get asked most is how I store my inks. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on what I found that works for me. It's actually a mix of a few solutions and I'm hoping that maybe one of these solutions would work for you. So it, whether you have some space for vertical storage or in a drawer, there's a few different options here and hopefully something will work for you. Now to the left side of where I work on my little island, I've got this cabinet door here and when I open it up I have these two storage units for my most often used inks. Now my distress inks are somewhere else, I'll show you that towards the end, but this is where I have my dye and pigment inks that I reach for the most. These two bigger units are from a company called Organize More and if you go to my blog within the next week I'll have a discount code for you. I'm going to give you a closer look at these two units and I'll also show you some of these smaller little containers that I have on the shelf here that also work well for storing ink. So I'll show you a closer look at those too. I thought I'd go ahead and show you the smallest unit from Organize More first. This guy holds 24 of my favorite ink pads. So I have my Memento Luxe inks in the most common colors that I use on the left and then some variety of black inks and embossing inks on the right that I seem to reach for a lot. Now I, ha I stuck this with some strong mounting tape to the inside of my cabinet door. It does come with little hanging devices on the top that I took off, but it will help you if you wanted to hang this to onto your wall with nails or you can just set it on your countertop. If you're pressed for space, this is a good option because you could just put your most commonly used inks in it and you'd be good to go. So here are the dimensions for this and again I'll have this all listed on my blog which I'll link to in the description. Now the bigger unit that I use ha holds 48 ink pads and I have this inside my cabinet just sitting in there. Again, you could hang this one on the wall if you wanted to. And I keep all of my Hero Arts shadow inks and other Hero Arts inks in here along with a few other inks that I reach for a lot. These are the My Favorite Things dye inks. And then I also have in here some of my new favorite Mama Elephant pigment inks. These have some great colors too. So these are inks that I reach for a lot so I have them in this uh, organizer right here in my cabinet. This is one again that you could hang on the wall if you wanted to or set on a shelf. I just have mine stuck inside this cabinet. It works for me because I like to have everything behind a cabinet door. I wanted to show you also that the little hooks that they have on the back here so that you could easily hang this. They come on like this. You can take them off if you want to. I haven't taken these off of here yet. But it, these are really high quality and I really like them. So here's the information on this 48 ink pad organizer and I'm going to be giving one of these away on my blog this week also so be sure to stop by there. Now if you don't have room for any of these big containers I found a few smaller plastic containers that seem to work well. This is one that I like and I just have various inks in here. Now I keep these inks sideways so they're staying on their side. If you worry about your inks um, you know, being stored this way you can flip them and rotate them every once in a while. I've never had a problem. So here's the information on that container. It's probably the smallest of the containers, so this might be a good option for you if you're tight on space. Now here's another container. This one's very long, but what I like about it, it's got this little handle in the front so you can keep it in a cabinet or in a, on a shelf and easily pull it out for quick access. So I have lots of my shadow inks in here that I use a little bit less often than the ones in the big container behind it. You can even keep some on the side here. But this is a nice container. Again, I don't worry about having my ink pads stored on the side and most companies say that you don't really need to worry about that either. But if you are concerned, you could keep these tilted or you can rotate them every once in a while. So here is the container uh, that I just showed. These are storage containers for pantries and refrigerators, but I think they were great for uh, stamp storage too because they're nice and durable. This is the option that I think I'm going to switch to and only use this one. The size just works well for me and it has that little uh, handle on the front to pull it out easily and you can put two rows of inks in it. I really like this one. And again, I'll show links for this in the YouTube description and also on my blog so you can get a closer look at the products and also be able to find them easily. Now I know price is a concern for many of us. These little plastic containers are pretty good price and they're very strong so they're usually about between five and ten dollars and the big white units from Organize More are under fifty dollars so really it's something if you want to invest in one it's really worth it. Now something that is critical for me when I am organizing my inks is that I put a label on all four sides of my ink pad. That's That way no matter how I put it back in the container I can easily see on the side what the name of the ink pad is. Now for me, I want a durable uh, label that won't rub off or get all inked up. So I use a label maker to do it and I'll show you that in, the, in a moment. But you can see here I have it on all four sides. 
Now, if you want to have like a swatch of ink color on the side, what I might do with mine, and I haven't decided how I'm going to do it, is I'm going to punch a white cardstock star. You can see on the top here on that orange soda ink pad, I punched a little white cardstock star and I covered it with that color ink and used some glossy accents to stick it there. Now, I prefer to just have a touch of the color there to keep all the labels nice and clean. And also, these like plastic labels, they're really durable, and I don't have to worry about them getting all mucky, mucky over time, and they stay nice and sharp. Now, for these labels, I use the P-Touch Brother Label Maker, which I use to organize all my stamps and everything else in my office. But for this one, I use the narrow tape, the half, um, I'm sorry, the quarter inch tape. So it just is this tiny little label that sits on the side of ink pads nicely. Now I also wanted to show you how I store my distress inks because I absolutely love this system. This is another unit from Organize More, but this time I have the unit stored on its side so I can fit it into a drawer. The reason why is I bought an ink, uh, an ink organizer that holds uh, 36 distress ink pads and also their reinkers. Instead of putting the reinkers in it, I decided to put my ink blending tools in it. Now I have an ink blending tool for all these colors. Um, that's kind of crazy, I know it, but I use them a lot, so I just felt this was the best solution. This doesn't hold all of the Distress Inks because the unit that um, was big enough to hold them all didn't fit into my drawer, so I got the 36 instead. This just holds the 36 that I use most often. Now, I think it's kind of silly, and Tim even teases me for it, to have an ink blender for each uh, color. I have them labeled on the side, just like my ink pads. However, it just works well for me because I like to keep my colors clean. Another thing you could do is get the Distress Ink Organizer that Organize More has without the little holes for the reinkers. And you could put a little piece of Velcro on the bottom of your ink pad here and then stick the little ink applicator right to it and store it like that. That way you can have one ink blending tool and then have an individual um, little foam attached to the ink pad for your different colors. Or you could keep that little foam with the reinker in that little hole there instead of the ink blending tools. But I just love this system. Again, this is a system that you could hang on your wall or stand up. I had no concerns putting my inks on the side. I use them often enough that they get rotated. And then I have some room here to put my um, most often used embossing powders. So I just love this organizer for distress inks. And I use these inks quite often. And the ink pad caps stay on nicely. They don't fall off. So I don't have to worry about them drying out. And this is the information on the Distress Ink and Reinker Organizer that I use for my ink blending tools and Distress Inks. Now another option for inks is to use a drawer. I love the IKEA Alex drawers. They come in different sizes. The really wide, narrow drawers that you see here, I have mine built into my office here, but they come on casters so you can roll them around if you wanted to. Very inexpensive, but these drawer units are awesome. And if you just open it up, you can see, I, I haven't organized all these inks yet. I just have them all thrown in. But you can just put them in kind of tilted here and flip through them easily. You could put the in labels of the ink names on the side and easily find your inks. And these drawers hold a ton of inks. So this is another option. You could get one of these units and store all your inks in here and still have room to have drawers for other embellishments. It's really a great unit. Again, this one is from Ikea, and it's the Alex drawers. I have several of these built into my office because I like them that much. I couldn't find anything else I liked as much as these. And I think they've held up very well. Now, I have a lot of inks because this is my job and maybe it's an obsession too, but I keep all my inks on uh, a little ink swatch ring here. I got this idea from my friend Kelly Rasmussen. I just love it. And it's a great reference for all the different ink colors you might have. For distress inks, I stamp it and then I also ink the edges with my ink blending tool. And then I write the ink name on the back. For all of my other inks, I've just stamped with my favorite Hero Arts background. And then I write on the back the name of the ink. And this is quick and easy reference. I can easily find colors I want and match papers that I have. And I can also take the swatches off and put color comb combinations together for card two. It's really a great tool to have. And I put my son up to helping me make all these. And I also help have him help me make all the labels for my ink pads. So you can get your kids involved in this and they can make a little chore money too. So if you have questions about the products I show in here for all the different forms of ink storage, you can look at the YouTube description. I'll have it all linked there. Also, you can go to my blog where I'll have more pictures and more information. Thanks for watching. I hope something here works for you for your ink storage.